Hi, I'm Tom Bassett, and in this demo video, I'm going to show you how to name your opportunities in a standardized way. So in this example, I want to name my opportunities using reference number, account name, and product interest. I am choosing to use a flow to achieve this. So let's get started and go into setup and search for flows. From here, I want to create a new flow that is record triggered. So from here, I'm gonna set the object as opportunity. I'm gonna trigger the flow when a record is created or updated. I'm gonna use this formula here. So the flow only runs when the name does not equal the reference number plus product interest plus account name. I'm gonna set the flow to run every time a record is updated and meets the requirements. And I'm gonna optimize the flow for actions and related records so that this will fire after the auto number field has generated the reference number. So I'm gonna press done. So in order to achieve the rename within the flow, I'm gonna create a formula in the flow to give my opportunity the standardized name. So I can actually use part of the formula I've already constructed for this. So I'm gonna copy this onto my clipboard and then open the flow toolbox to create a new formula. I'm gonna call this opportunity name formula. I'm gonna give this a description I'm gonna set the data type to text, and then I'm gonna make sure that my syntax is okay, which in this case, it's, it's fine, it's valid syntax. So I'm gonna press done, and then I am going to update the opportunity within my flow, so the name equals my formula. So from here, I'm gonna choose name, and I'm going to tell the flow to update the name to the formula that I have created. I'm going to save this and I'm going to give the flow a name of rename opportunity to standard format. And I'm going to give it a description. And I'm going to press save and activate. So now I'm gonna go and double check that my flow works as expected. Let's choose this one and I'm gonna press edit. I'm gonna choose the product of interest to product B. I'm gonna press save. You can now see that the opportunity is named in a standardized format. However, my flow will error if the formula is longer than the opportunity name allows. I know that the opportunity name is allowed to be up to 120 characters long. So let's adjust our formula so it doesn't allow a value that's too long. Going back into setup and flows, I'm gonna find the flow that I created and I'm going to jump into the toolbox and adjust the formula here. So I want this formula to be the same as before, but I only want the first 120 characters. So let's put this whole operator in a left condition and 120 characters, check the syntax and then save our flow. And now I'm gonna deliberately create an opportunity that has an account with a long name. So let's create an opportunity that I'm gonna call sample example for. For now, I'm gonna choose this account that deliberately has a fictitious, really long name. I'm gonna set product interest to A, I'm gonna populate a close date and a stage, and then I'm gonna press save. So you can now see that my flow has renamed this opportunity and it hasn't failed because it's only selected the first 120 characters 
from my standardized name format.